Hello, I'm Amber Uper, and this is a model kit review. And as you can see, I have a kit for a 172nd scale Focke-Wulf F190A8-F. Now this is a, a late war uh, airplane. It is uh, a 1944 and 45 version of this uh, particular airplane. And uh, this particular kit, this is an Italieri. Now this kit um, was first produced by Italieri starting in 1989. And uh, this particular box art uh, went from 1989 to 1995. And then they changed the uh, box art. And they've changed the box art a couple of times since. So I know that this kit is uh, was produced somewhere between... Um, uh, 1989 and 1995 and as you can see it's a little squished on the end and uh, that's probably just from storage it uh, is a little down here but I it won't affect the model it may be that you know these are end fold um, boxes so it may be that when they shrink wrapped it it just pulled the end of the box down but it's still in the shrink wrap and I think it's the original shrink wrap on the box kind of hard to tell but I that's what it looks like to me there's the end of the box and here's your words in the various different languages now on the back we have um, painting instructions for two different um, versions of the airplane let's see if I can do that without it being all reflected there we go I can't stop the reflections on the whole box this is uh, Germany 1944 and this is Germany 1945. So that's two options for painting this particular model. So let's open the box and see what's inside. And I suppose the, um, the model collectors are going, No, don't open that! But that's what I get them for. And I just bought this um, uh, from a local hobby shop. And I'm sure that he got it from somebody who's had this kit and a bunch of others stashed for a long time so it was in his collection so well, let's open it up yeah it's a little bent but it's not bad i mean the box is in pretty darn good shape considering it's from <laughs> what 30 years ago so let's pull out the parts all right now these parts aren't in a bag There's no bag inside uh, just checking to see if there's any parts in there. There's not. Oh, there is. Windshield. All right, so here's what we get in the box. Uh, oh, look, there's two different... looks like there might be two different windshields, depending on the version you want to make. That's interesting. Okay. So let's look at the instructions first. Yeah, okay. We'll pile that there. All right, so here's the instructions. And this is Italiari, as you can see here. So this is just um, another description of the plane, and it's in various languages. So then, let's open it up here and take a look. So the first thing we'll see is the sprues and the, the numbers for the various parts on the sprues. And then you have your instructions on how to build models, just in case this is your first model you've ever built. And then we get into the uh, assembly instructions here, and you have your, your your fuselage halves and the cockpit details. This is the upper um, front part of the fuselage with the gun mounts. This one has a uh, instrument uh, panel. Here's your pilot. This is how the uh, all of those parts go together to form the uh, cockpit. So, and then you've got this here, and this uh, shows you what you need to do back here. This is the uh, the canopy, and I guess you got to paint the back half of it because it was uh, not all uh, clear. And there's this canopy or this canopy, which is a little bit different shape. And then they've got um, the parts for the motor. The motor is real rudimentary as far as the uh, details go, it looks like here. Could be wrong when I get to the sprue. And then putting all the rest of your stuff together. Here's your 
wheel covers if you've got the wheels down, I mean up, if you've got the wheels retracted. And we go to the back, and here is your wheels if you've got the wheels down, or extended, or whatever they call it. And then yeah, a couple of detail parts, you've got your um, ex external fuel tank, and uh, a couple other details to put on there. So... Not a, not a whole lot to this kit, uh, you know, as far as uh, instructions go. So let's take a look at the parts now. Okay, first, well, you know what? Let's take a look at the decals now. Okay, so here's your decals. I don't know, maybe I can get it to uh, focus on that. So that's the, that's the decal sheet that you get with this. Not, this is in really good condition considering that this particular model was produced somewhere between 1989 and 1995. Those decals, are, they look like they're completely usable. So that's kind of impressive. All right, now we'll get to the, to the sprues. First off, let's do the, uh, the canopy because these are really hard to show. No matter what you do, they're hard to show. But there's one of them. This is the one with the hump. Here's the other one that's got the straight line. And this is the the front piece. I don't know if you can see that. There's the front piece of the canopy right there. Goes on the forward part. That's all there is to the uh, clear parts. So let's look at the sprues. Here's your wings. It's the lower part, obviously. And the two upper halves. And then we got, uh, what do we got? Wheels over here. Here's your landing struts, tail wheel, um, uh, wheel covers for when it's in the, when the wheels are up. There's your, your external fuel tank. Not sure what these are. Maybe they're the bulkheads behind the pilot or something like that. I'm not sure what those are. Oh, let's see. That looks like it's one of the wheel well detail parts. Yeah, and here's the other wheel well detail part. So there's that. All right. And then here's your two fuselage halves. And, uh, well, this is the external fuel tanks. I'm not sure what that is. Unless that's a bomb. That could actually be a bomb. Which would mean that these are the bomb fins over here. Okay. Didn't see that in the instructions. All right. Anyway, here's your tail wings and the tail of the rudder. Oh, let's see. Here's what little engine detailer is. Although, to be fair, you can't see much of, an, of the engine inside the, the cowling of uh, FW190 anyway. Propeller. Here's uh, some um, cylinder heads. That's the, that's the first row. This is the back row. I, I'm assuming this goes on top of this. Or maybe this goes on here. I have to look in the instructions. Here's the canopy floor. Not the canopy, the cockpit floor. Uh, let's see. Here's your seat, your pilot. And let's see. That may be the thing that goes behind the pilot. The bulkhead. And here's your instrument cluster. Instrument panel. So, fairly basic stuff. This must be a bomb carrier rack that goes underneath the plane if you're going to put the bomb on it. Yeah, a few little details here. But uh, uh, your propeller spinner. So that's, uh, that's what there is to this kit. Uh, it's not too complex, but it's pretty decent for a, uh, uh, for a 172nd scale kit. I suspect this will build up into a nice looking kit once it's done. It's painted up and everything. So, there is my review for the Italiari Fock Wolf 190 A8 F in 172nd scale. There we go. Thanks for watching.